Greetings again, adventurers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. In the last episode, we decided to take the flight straight to the Palynesian Empire by attempting to accomplish the goal that we set ourselves out to do, which is to destroy the primary weapon that the Palynesian Empire used to wreak havoc upon the cities of Palum, Poft, and Altair. The ginormous airship known to one and all as the Dreadnought. But, despite uh, overwhelming odds, and by overwhelming odds I mean hordes and copious hordes of amounts of undead, and even a hill gigas, or a hill giant, well, not necessarily a hill giant, but a giant nonetheless, thrown into the mix, we were able to overcome those odds and throw the sun flame into the heart of the engine core of the Dreadnought, which resulted in, in it exploding in a uh, mighty fireball, and Sid graciously returned us to the rebel headquarters of Altair. But while we were celebrating our victory, we endured a sad loss, because the King of Thin has unfortunately passed away. not have you do that when I try to leave, but anyway, where was I? Ah yes, the death of the King of Finn. But before he passed away, he told us about the goons in the castle of Dist, the other kingdom that opposed the Empire along with the Kingdom of Kashwan. Dist is pretty much the home to a group of knights known as Dragoons, who were, who were in service to dragon creatures known as the Huyu, who are their sworn protectors as well. And because the Empire saw them as a relative threat to their rule, they ultimately wiped them out, well, attempted to wipe them out, although there are probably a few remnants along the way. But needless to say, that is our next destination, to learn the secrets of the Hiryu and hopefully uh, try and find something that might help us in our fight against the Empire. Meanwhile, before he died, the King instructed Minwu to break what he termed the Forbidden Seal, which apparently can only be broken by somebody of Minwu's magical abilities. I don't know what the Forbidden Seal is, or what it entails, but I can only assume that it's going to be necessary uh, for dealing with the Palamesian Empire. But regardless, there is really no point in staying in Altair any longer. And Prince Gordon is currently the Commander-in-Chief of the Rebel Movement, uh, because Hilda is grieving over her father's death. Understandable. But it just goes to show how far Prince Gordon of Cash One has come since the beginning of, uh, well, this adventure in general. Before I leave, I actually need to rest at the end. I know that's going to cost a minuscule amount of skill, but I really need our magic back. There we go. Now we're fully rested. Hurrah, hooray. I should really uh, concentrate on getting uh, Blink and Shell up uh, as much as I possibly can. I want to uh, check Maria's magic as well. Ice is now level 6, but I should probably uh, work on getting Arrow and Berserk um, up as quickly as possible because Berserk is going to be useful as is Arrow because. Uh, well, there are a few enemies that are probably uh, susceptible to air attacks, but uh, Eru is going to be useful for enemies who are immune to the basic elemental attacks. Eventually, uh, well, we're still a while away from that, but I was going to say there were going to be two useful uh, spells that we uh, can learn. Uh, first of all, the Strain, which drains opponents there is another drain spell from magic known as Osmos, 
Twitch streams MP, obviously. For those of you who didn't know that. That's pretty much going to be very useful in uh, replenishing our MP because ethers uh, are not that useful. And uh, to remind you yet again, uh, let's go back into the item shop just to see how quote unquote useful they are. Yeah, ethers in the NES version of Final Fantasy 2, 2500 gil each. Whereas in the Dawn of Souls version, they are a thousand gil each. But they still pretty much only do the same thing. They, uh, they only replenish between 20 to 50 MP, and that's random, uh, that percentage, uh, increase. Which basically means that once we get Osmos, uh, we'll pretty much no longer have any real need of Eathers, um, by that point. Phoenix Downs are, uh, can be found in the world, but buying them from stores is exceptionally expensive. They're only 500 in the Dawn of Souls version, um, but in the classic version of Final Fantasy II, they're incredibly expensive, much more than Eathers. Uh, the only useful sort of thing at this point are cottages, which, uh, while at 5,000 in the original version of Final Fantasy II, uh, the good news is, is that they fully restore your HP and MP. The downside is cottages, much in the same way as the classic Final Fantasy, can only really be used in the overworld. Hence why I couldn't really use them in the, uh, Dreadnought. And for some reason, elixirs, which basically act like cottages, except you can use them at any time, the cost for them in both versions of Final Fantasy II is the same. 50,000. No more, no less. Yeah, we're not going to be buying those anytime soon. But items that uh, we really are going to uh, eventually need at some point are uh, these four items. Especially, uh... Yeah, I, I really should uh, brush up on uh, my Final Fantasy things, because uh, in the Dawn of Souls version that actually tells you uh, what uh, each of these items do. I think the Crucifix uh, is supposed to deal with curses, or curing curses. Maiden's Kiss cures Toad. Toad can be incredibly annoying when used on our party members, but for some reason Toad is actually a one-hit kill when used on enemy monsters, which is kind of interesting. Echo Screen, uh, which we actually managed to acquire one of those, I think it might have to do with, uh, curing silence. And then we have the gold ne needles, which I'm just going to briefly, uh, have a look at. Okay, so gold needles apparently cure stone, or petrification. That's going to be, uh, very useful indeed. But, uh, unfortunately, yeah, the item management system in, fun, in the NES version of Final Fantasy II is really what is going to be grinding my gears at this point. Um, yeah, it's not so bad in the Dawn of Souls version, however, um, I'm not playing the Dawn of Souls version, obviously. I'm going to sell uh, quite a bit of stuff here anyway. Probably should have held on to that, but, uh, oh well. Might as well sell, uh, hoo -hoo. I'll sell, uh, one of the, I'll, I'll sell two of these, because, uh, we can actually get them from mages. Uh, so longbow, uh, hold on to those. to uh, 
Golden Ice for now because having uh, level 8 uh, casting ability is probably going to uh, be very useful for when our mana is actually completely depleted. We can't actually uh, get the normal way because it's actually off uh, to the northeast of where uh, the location of Bafsk is. And, uh, hmm. Well, we might be able to uh, head over to Bloom and see what, uh, what we might find. Who knows, we might even find somebody who would be willing to take us there. Um, although, if memory serves, I uh, think I left the ship back at Poft, which is kind of unfortunate for me. But anyway, I'm going to uh, jump ahead and I'll see you all. I'll be waiting for you all in the city of Paloom, or the town of Paloom, at any rate. It's not really quite a city. Anyway, I'll see you all in just a moment. So we've made it to Balloon, and the ship is uh, still on dock here, obviously. There's no point in uh, paying for it because it's not going to be waiting for us outside, obviously. But uh, on the whole, there is actually somebody else here that we didn't originally see the first time round. A woman with blue hair. Who apparently uh, is called Layla, and interested in giving us the right to disc. That's, uh, convenient. Perhaps a little, uh, perhaps a little too convenient for my liking. But, uh, actually no reason to turn it down because we actually need a ship to, uh, take us there and the ship that goes between Puff and Balloon doesn't really go anywhere else and so it's their ship doesn't really, uh, take us to disc. So we have uh, no choice but to uh, trust Layla, although Maria doesn't trust her. And curiously enough, her ship isn't docked in the usual place, it's docked just a little bit further that way. After dealing with hordes of undead and mines, I'm grateful to fight these enemies. Well, here we are at Layla's ship. Off we go, off we go to this, and uh, what's going on here? Well, uh, looks like she's got a very hardly crew. Oh. Yeah, well, looks like Maria had uh, more than a little right to be suspicious of Layla's intentions. Seems like Layla is not unlike Vicky the Pirate, uh, whom you all remember from the first Final Fantasy. And much like Vicky the Pirate, Layla has her own motley crew of pirates. Who are intending to uh, deal to us and take all of our equipment. But as I said moments ago, I'm so glad to be dealing with uh, lesser enemies than and dealing with hordes of undead. I think we can take care of them. There are eight of them and three of us. And they're not gonna do that much damage because Guy can take much care of them easily enough. Don't even need to use Berserk, although I probably should level it up. I want Berserk to be as potent as possible. Yeah. 
work. Yeah, just have Maria cast the hero. Take these guys out one at a time. No need to rush them. If any of these pirates could actually hit us, I would be impressed. But I'm not impressed so far. Yeah, you might have wanted to uh, rethink your strategy there, Layla. And Maria actually took down that pirate. But it wasn't really that difficult at all. Especially compared to the minions of the Palamecian Empire. You know, at this point I was thinking we would probably get ambushed by some Hoggins or other sea creatures, but apparently not. Say that this is the one-sided fight is completely an understatement. And with us uh, having Blink and Shell, these pirates aren't even to touch us. As we can just pretty much avoid their attacks at this point. money's worth of this. tried to rob us, she isn't really the enemy that we, we are trying to fight against. Well, we need a ship, we need a crew, and we need a captain. And Layla re reluctantly decides to draw an arm on the crew. Hooray! And we're currently in the middle of the ocean, which is, uh, well, where we want to be now. And, uh, well, we also have a ship, which is, uh, which is fantastic. And Layla is now on our party, and she has, uh, some health damage, uh, because of the fact that we attacked her and her crew. Let's see what you have equipped. A dagger uh, in the right hand, and a longsword in the left, silver armor, a longbow, and a uh, gold hairpin helmet. Um, I'll give you the Salit Blade. Um, I'll leave the uh, helmet in your hand for now. And, uh, probably could have, uh, given her that gouge knife, um... But, uh... I could head back to Altair and rest, but, uh... Or Plume, for that matter, since we're, uh... Since we're right there, but, um... Oh uh, yeah, we can just, uh, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to stop at the docks, we can, uh, we can just get off anywhere we want, which is kind of interesting. So 
doesn't quite work the same way as uh, Final Fantasy 2, uh, or Final Fantasy 1, I should say, because Final Fantasy 1, you could only, uh, you could only land a ship anywhere where there happened to be a dock, but that's not the case with Final Fantasy 2, it seems. Which would have made Final Fantasy a lot easier. Um, I also think that much in the same way as the canoe, that we can... Oh no, we're fighting, we're fighting sea monsters. Killfish, an eagle, and a serpent. That's, uh, that's not good. Layla has magic of her own. Um, we'll just have her attack the evil now. Because she can use uh, two weapons. And she missed. Because the evil can fly. What was I thinking? Yeah, sea monsters are no match for lightning, as usual. Three people that can use uh, bolt. Maximum damage as uh, much as possible. Which is always the way to go. exactly what we wanted. Uh, believe it or not, uh, we actually want to go east down through that channel that you can see on the eastern part of the globe. And uh, with the guy being poisoned, he's going to uh, take some damage unless I heal him. So, there we go. first. We actually want to go down here to another area that we can visit. I wonder if we're not fighting more Sahagin, so I want to try and stay as close to this uh, continent here as I possibly can, but not get off just yet. Because there is a uh, place that will actually be very useful in exploring. There is a desert over there. This one doesn't have a mirage tower waiting in, um, in the sands, which is, which is unfortunate. We go through this uh, inlet here. Yep. And uh, 
believe it or not, we actually do want to be uh, in this uh, relative vicinity. Yeah, sailing around the world of Final Fantasy 2 is not the same as it was in the first Final Fantasy. I want to uh, hit east here. Oh, we have mines, and finally we have the uh, classic, iconic um, enemy. That orange enemy that is known to one and all as the bomb, that eventually becomes, I believe, the classic uh, bomb enemy throughout the rest of the Final Fantasy series. We want to deal with that. We want to deal with that at all costs. Um, and bombs! We don't want to use fire on it. We do not want to use fire on bombs whatsoever. We also want to get rid of the mines as well. I forgot to, uh, forgot to run it with the sleep sword. That was my mistake. I really should not have run with the sleep sword because of its tendency to uh, miss at times. Well, at least Maria's health, uh, might increase if, uh, if it doesn't kill, if the mines don't kill her. Okay, that, uh, that was much better. should be grateful that we're uh, finally past the stage where we'll end up being one-shotted by the uh, by the bomb attacks. And I should do the sensible thing and re-equip uh, Layla's uh, longsword at this point. Um, no, I said equip it. I know it does less damage, but you can actually hit with it. This is where we want to be. The magical town of Mysidia. A town that seems to be uh, out of the path of the Empire. Have we come to break the seal? No, that is uh, that is Minwu's job, which uh, gives us a hint as to where he's actually gone. The seal is protected by three items, so that's uh, so Minwu is trying to look for them. town full of mages that contains many ancient books and tomes. We'll want to rest here, since we've traveled a long way. And the beds look quite comfy. That was a great night's rest, and Necessarily the greatest uh, white magic spell in Final Fantasy 2, but it is pretty much essentially quite powerful. But uh, Barrier Wall, I'm actually uh, interested. Wall will uh, provide a bit more protection than uh, Blink, because Blink is uh, dodging, whereas Wall does protection. 
Although barrier is uh, quite good as well, because that actually defends us against quite a decent amount of uh, el well, effects that, you know, elemental effects and uh, whatnot. I will want to buy something new at some point. Life anti warp exit. Uh, I actually might get. Uh, warp at this point, because warp can actually take you back uh, a floor. I'm actually going to get that first. Fear PP or mute, we don't, we don't want any of those. Uh, I'm actually going to go back and get, uh, get barrier and wall for uh, Furion. And just let me check to see if uh, I was just going to see whether uh, Warp was a white magic spell or a black magic spell. One moment. Okay, Warp is a black magic spell as opposed to Exit, which is a white magic spell. So I'll have Maria learn, because I want her to learn black magic. And I'll have Furia learn more and Barrier as well. Just to get myself. Uh, Space, uh, inventory space. Once we start leveling up uh, those two spells, we're actually uh, going to be doing pretty well for ourselves in terms of uh, magical developments. Now, before I want to, before I head into the items, I actually do want to uh, see what the weapons are available here at the uh, weapon store. Got a flame spear. We've got uh, Ogre Killer, which is a uh, whopping 15,000, uh, 15, not 1,500. Uh, Power Mace, uh, I actually want to get the Ice, um, really want to get the Ice uh, bow for Maria here. Blind is useful, but uh, not very useful. I'm going to sell it. Fairly well, Blind Bow. I'll just sell the both for a moment. Um, to give myself an extra inventory space. I think we're, uh, we're doing alright so far. Now, actually, I want to see what uh, Labor's, Labor's stats are. That's uh, not too bad. She's already at level, she's at level 2. Archer in this uh, particular thing. I'm just going to have her stick to double sword attacks. And I think that's everything, uh, except for the fact that I probably, uh, I probably will at some point want to actually get the uh, ogre killer because. Uh, for Guy, because that would be exceptionally useful with dealing with uh, the Gigases and the Ogres that we are most likely going to encounter at some point. And we can't go to the lakes in, uh, while we're in town, so we can only do that in the overall map. But uh, I shall leave you here for the time being, Adventurers, and when we return, we shall eventually make our way sailing all the way to Dist and hopefully uh, try and find something of it, the ruins of the Gurguin's kingdom that we can use against the Palamecian Empire and assist Minwu in uh, breaking the seals to the, uh, of the Forbidden Seal. Maybe. Anyway, as always, adventurers, until next we meet.